With the seas finally turning somewhat calm, the platform supply vessel Schoborg approaches the rig with materials that are absolutely crucial for drilling. A series of pipes that will connect to guide the drill head down from the platform and the massive hydraulic hammer that will drive the pipes deep into the sea floor. Out on the Schoborg's deck, a pair of able seamen hooks the first of 20 drilling pipes to the wire suspended from interceptor's crane. At the stern of the rig, Chief Engineer Suna Hansen and his team slide the towering drilling structure called a cantilever off the edge of the deck. It takes six massive hydraulic cylinders to do the job, utilizing a pressure equal to 75 times that of the air in your car tires. After three quarters of an hour, the 4,800-ton structure is in place. And with the conductor pipes coming aboard, the crew finally has the momentum they've been seeking for weeks. Down on the drill floor, the crew screws the drill pipe together in 39 foot long sections. Pipe is 30 inches in diameter, wide enough to guide this beast, the drill head that will rip into the seafloor. Yeah, keep lifting up. Twenty-two hours later, the pipe stretches 551 feet down from the drilling platform. Now, the hydraulic hammer gets to work. Tapping out to a powerful rhythm that will eventually build 22 tons of pounding with each blow, driving the pipe 131 feet deep into the seafloor. At last, Maersk Interceptor is ready to drill. A billion dollars worth of oil per year is about to be unleashed. <laughs> 